for game two of this best of three between uh, Concordia University and George Mason. Just reminding you that George Mason won the first game and are now blue side, whereas Concordia is now red side. We're waiting for picks and bans to get on their way. First ban is Echo. Echo's really good at zone control. Can be played in multiple positions. And uh, is in general a very annoying champion to deal with, especially with his movement that makes him rewind for seconds. Um, Riven gets picked, uh, picked off by uh, Concordia. They really do not want to see Riven. I uh, just forgot to lower the music. I'm sorry, guys. New to this whole uh, system that we've got in place. Yora banned, which means uh, George Mason does not want to see Concordia counter pick uh, top lane with Fiora. Um, and Vayne banned. Vayne got a triple kill for George Mason uh, before the second minute. Understandable they'd want it banned, especially that it denies a lot of comps, and she is very popular. Mordecai's are banned by George Mason. Very interesting choice. Usually a red side ban because you usually pick it first if you're blue side. And Lulu ban is a very uh, understandable one. She is a, a key component to many comps. She can be played in three different positions. And boy, are those cookies good. So, 30 seconds left for uh, George Mason to pick their first champion. We'll see uh, what kind of comp they decide to go with this time. Especially that three of their uh, five champions from game one are banned. Well, Braum is here, apparently. We'll just gotta wait to confirm that. And Braum is locked in. That smells that they want to be able to pick people off with Braum's um, passive and Q. I expect to see either a level one invade with Braum if the team comp can follow through or um, some uh, Braum roams. Nocturne and Sona being hovered over by Concordia. And now it's Nami and Nocturne. And now it's Janna and Nocturne. What kind of support will we see? Apparently it looks like a squishy maze. Nocturne uh, with his new changes and his ultimate being uh, able to be cast from even further out is going to be a lot harder to spot. But from like, his blue buff he can pretty much at max rank hit both top lane and mid lane. Actually, no, if they're red side it's uh, mid lane and bot lane. Nami locked in. So hopefully... Their coordination in bot lane is going to be a bit better this game. Still a comfort pick for uh, Silent Reaper. I don't think Quinn is going to be picked. Though it is possible, she has a good synergy with Braum because uh, of her uh, passive that lets her mark targets and will proc two stacks of Braum's uh, passive. Apparently the Jarvan worked well last game, and uh, George Mason looked to uh, lock it in. Ooh, there's the Draven. Draven was banned in game one, and it looks like it's a cannon. Could this be a cannon top, or a cannon support? Actually, it cannot be a cannon support, what am I saying? They have Braum already. So it is most definitely a cannon top, unless something extremely weird happens and it becomes a cannon mid but I highly doubt that. Draven's going to be very interesting to see um, in action. 
what can uh, Concordia play against it? Most probably the picks that are, will be taken here are, I would say, top and uh, ADC are good choices now, so that you leave uh, your support, your mid laner. Apparently they don't agree with me. They're going to go with Caitlyn and uh, Oriana. Just let the timer run out to confirm on that. There we go. Caitlyn is actually maybe one of the better choices against Draven because she can outrange him and play fairly safe. Oriana will be able to put her ball on uh, Nocturne when he ult ultis in. Overall, good synergy between the mid and jungle picks. I like it, personally. Meanwhile, George Mason looks to go with Jarvan and Maokai. Or is that a Jarvan and an Irelia? Interesting choices. I am going to go on, out on a limb and say that the Jarvan is going to be locked in, where, whereas uh, Riven only is still... Um, Trying to find what else he can play. He has Riven banned and his uh, monstrous Fiora from the previous game uh, is banned by his own team. And it actually looks to be a Maokai. So George Mason's uh, team comp looks to be um, very tanky and CC oriented. Again, letting the ADC do all all if well most if not all of the damage and using all the other teammates to um control um concordia university's comp also very interesting is uh that is that is a cannon mid i don't recall last time i've seen a cannon mid so i can't even put my judgment on that and there comes the mouth fight. Are we going to see the biggest wet noodle fight ever in top lane between uh, Maokai and Malphite? I like those wet noodle fights. Just two guys going at it. Never stops. All innuendos intended. Not trade mine. The mouth fight locked in. I actually really like the mouth fight pick for uh, Concordia because as soon as he goes in, George Mason is forced to flash out because um, he'll probably dive the back line and then get the Oriana ball on him and bolt. And that will uh, help Concordia University a lot, even though they don't have that much AoE damage other than that. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think that from these team comps, Concordia is probably going to play a more passive um, early game, whereas uh, George Mason is probably going to look to uh, invade it once more. Well, respond to an invade or invade. And we'll be right back with you once uh, the game begins. So it should be in just over three minutes. Be right back.
We are on the rift. A few seconds late, but we've made it so that we could sort things out. We didn't have to do that whilst uh, the game is going. I blame. Always blame me. Two monitors. Well, one TV monitor. Super weird. So it looks like there's not going to be an invade this time around. No uh, quadra kills level one, hopefully. Concord, you're playing it very spread out, checking all the entries. Uh, George Mason looking to uh, maybe do something as a group. Though, yeah. I think they're a bit traumatized after last game's level one. <laughs> yeah, but you also have, can't disagree that uh, George Mason has the better level one comp. Yeah, like, you have a Braum, you have to respect the Braum. Yeah, Braum, Cannon Q, even Maokai W if he decides to. We're going to have maybe a little invade. This is a really risky bush for Ingangs. You can only see them last second. And they get queued by Draven. And Flash forces a flash. Is... Which is, it, it's good for uh, George, George Mason because they'll probably be able to uh, gank him early on in uh, yeah. the lane. It's going to be really tough for him early on. But, being you know, better you, considering what was following him, it was probably the correct play. Yeah. Definitely, that's not something you want. I, I, I would have preferred to put my ward down to see them arrive ahead of tough time, though. That's for me, I love wards. Bit of experience, so Malphite should. They're gonna go for the here. Jarvan, that's the head of Malphite. Very interesting uh, choice. And I think Jarvan saw them, but. They're, <laughs> they're looping back they behind them. They just Jarvin. saw him. What? Alright. Get the can't, E. Can't. He's level 1, you can't even E. Oh. Well, he was level 2. Oh, Nami gets hit by the Braum. Oh, he is stunned. Caitlyn is low, Silent, and Nami is low. But it looks like nobody's gonna die. This is really hard trade for Caitlyn and Nami. At least she dodges the Braum there, so she doesn't really take... Well, just remember, it's very important not to die to Draven, especially... Uh, well, early on, it's not, on. not as bad as when those stacks are backing up. When he gets to like 100 stacks, especially with the first blood. It's what, uh, three gold per stack? Around three or four gold per stack, if I remember correctly. Oh, they're gonna actually look for you to swap the bushes ward, they're gonna swap this one out. So, good ward by Silent Reaper, keeping Jarvan away from them early on while their lane is especially more vulnerable. Top lane's gonna see a uh, rock versus tree. How do you feel vers about rocks versus trees? Well, it's hard to say rock versus tree when it's a mecha malphite. Like uh, shiny rock. Metal? He's copper. He looks like something straight out of uh, Pacific Rim. Actually, frontline oh, gonna get the Caitlyn has the headshot. Right? Is he gonna go for it? He's gonna go for the. Oh! Made it out by the. Dodge the shield. Oh, there he is. Oh. Uh, is he gonna tough can you flash? flash? No. Nope. Twisted advance, locks him in place. Draven, Draven gets, gets first blood. And 200 bonus gold. So that was uh, actually a 600 gold pocket for Draven. And that puts him uh, 700 gold ahead. Yep. Which is uh, kind of brutal at this stage of the game. So, like, after, after the wave that he's clearing now, he'll probably be able to get a uh, BF sword. BF sword. Yep. PV getting protected by uh, Crolair in mid lane. Gonna get the fear off, but PV has to back off. Jarvan flashes. And PV has to. PV has to flash. Oh, Crolair going massive with the flash EQ. And he picks up blue buff from that. Yeah, which is really good for him. Oh, Caitlyn trap on the Draven, going aggro. Can he do with the auto attack? The burn! Oh, the burn! The ignites gets the Draven! Mm, that revenge blue kill. Blue. Meanwhile, Cannon getting harassed by Ori with his blue buff. This is 
actually really bad for Cannon early on, getting the blue buff to Ori level 5. It's probably gonna expire right as her blue buff spawns, so she's really gonna hurt her. Uh, watch the tanks and slap each other. The noodle fights. Not really noodle fights, like Bart versus uh, Autobots. See, one level down for the Autobots. And that double jump might Maybe he's a Decepticon. That's why he's a level down. Would it be like Star Because the good guys always win, right? What would Malph like if he transformed Malph, like would he transform him like into a car or something? Or be like I think we should just drop all that or ask our uh, viewers on that Twitch. Like a weird quirky crappy airplane where like he's the worst pilot ever, but his airplane is so weird and it hovers like three feet off the ground. I think he transforms into a tricycle. Tricycle? But like those arms are huge though. A big tricycle. It was like the weirdest tricycle. Ever. Frontline, gonna take some damage. Or not. That is a lot of free harass from. Uh... Yeah. You know the tutorial when they say stay behind your minions? Like, maybe they should have done that. Maybe you know they should do it like Legend of Zelda where you're followed by the little fairy and says, hey, listen! Like, that's your support. Right? Well, support's not in lane, so you oh, can't listen. Yeah. yeah. Raven with the flash Q. Flash Q well, Q. Empowered. Autos. He's if he wants he could probably get his bloodthirster on this V. Or a uh, Vamp Scepter. Yeah, he's got enough for a Vamp Scepter and uh, two potions. So I don't think he really needs potions at the moment. Probably not. But so as uh, we're seven minutes in and um it's not very really close. There's only under a thousand gold. Six hundred yeah, gold. Six hundred gold difference. And it's all on great so yeah, Let's be honest. It's, 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 David kills, got him that golden man. But Ori upgraded his bot lane while, meanwhile, the mouth, uh, the mouth is backing up. Roaming mid. What level is Nocturne? Is uh, Mouth is level six. Ori's level six, and I think Nocturne should be hitting level six after this blue buff. Have a fight in the bot lane actually. Getting exhausted. That looks painful. Ooh, unstoppable force. That looks painful. Roll out. <laughs> roll out. He rolls out into your face, bot lane. And direct, double kill. And directed camera cuts up <laughs> right at the end of that. After, after they get the kill, directed camera's like, no, you can't see the mouth fight. Watch the worry. Oh, the cleansed. Oh. Ooh. Damn it. Mouth fight. Comes in for the cleanup, misses the Q. Lock on! Oh, oh my God. wow. Nocturne. The greed by Nocturne. Thought he could get the kill. His auto got cancelled when Cannon eat when he missed it. And then. And it just died. And then just died to turret. That's actually. That's not bad. Malphite got a double kill. That's gonna put him far ahead of this Maokai who's just farming top lane. And they're still 5 CS apart. So it's not much of a difference. But they, I guess the the camera really wanted us to watch Malphite. Or uh, was it who spawned like in base? Was Caitlyn? They really want us to watch Caitlyn spawn. I don't know. It was just very funny how Malphite gets the double kill and then all of a sudden the camera changes. <laughs> Shameless plug, but we are looking for uh, people to help us uh, stream games. Um, people want to make cool stuff. Hit us up. Esports at Concordia.ca. Send us anything cool you've made, esports related or whatever. You want to start. Maybe making overlays or whatnot because uh, Dimitri is very tired of making graphics. No, he's not. Don't listen to him. We are just looking for someone better, actually. Well, I dare you. <laughs> all these beautiful graphics. Not even one thing. Oriana. He needs to go even. Not. Well, the CS is fairly even all around the board, except, except for, for the ADC. Except for 30 CS down in bot lane. Down. But, but Caitlyn has three assists. So that's kind of helping her out, but the difference is a BF sword versus a vamp scepter and boots. Nocturne actually gonna get the red jungle item, so and Ori's gonna get ganked. Is that by... a red jungle item? Yep. I can't tell. I play with the UI being so small that top lane still goes even. Not too bad. Just gonna pick up some farm while blue team contests dragon. Cause the border, I can give this one up. It's really 
You can't do anything with a dragon nearby. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, the wall is off. I don't even know what's happening. There we go. So quickly, Kenan all spreading through everyone. TV is still alive, looking to get damaged, but that's. That's a triple kill for Draven. Uh, flashbacks of last game. And now we're gonna watch the top lane. Scrap it out. Get a Malphite. Ah, uh, never mind. Gentleman's agreement. Gentleman's okay, agreement it's a draw. Like, stop fighting at 200 HP. <laughs> Malphite just walks away. It's between, it's between the rock that gets a shield and the tree that gets a heal. Yeah. On his spells. Like, they both have like giant hands. Malphite has like a on his hand. Malphite has like two mecha arms. It's like hydraulic punching each other, and the other guy punches the other guy with the face. Maybe they should make a mecha Malphite. Yeah. Then, like, would you be a tree? Or would you be like, would you be, like a tree in Dubai? Tall tree? No, no, no. They don't know those big trees that they call trees. They're like the dollar store trees. Didn't know you bought trees at the dollar store. Goodbye. Like those plastic trees they have in restaurants. So, like, you don't need to water them. I don't like that. I like Shamrock Malphite. Shamrock Malphite's where it's at. No, I, I, I prefer Glacial. And Braum going on an adventure in the red side jungle. Loops his way all around to mid and escapes without uh, anything K happening. meanwhile hit the turret a little bit in bot lane and then uh, Draven showed up. Decided no. Why is these backed off? That. Look at that line of uh, traps, though. Draven has a bloodthirster and then a BS sword. And, uh, if we had a crowd, they'd be cheering for all these ward kills. Hey! No. Anyway, Caitlyn actually getting the better trades. Draven getting stuck under turret after that trap. Not too bad. Uh, so really... Those the traps in the line are making it really hard for Draven to actually get to the turret without dodging. Those Braum roams are actually really, really helping out uh, Draven. Yeah, they need a the red. And currently, Concordia has no vision on the bottom red side, so not much Caitlyn can do about this. She's kind of stuck there to die by her friends. Uh, the a gang on the rock man or a rock man. We'll he, probably have to use it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, meanwhile he's not going to get dropped. That is Draven's Draven So here. much damage. The Q on the Ori. Ori with the ultimate skinning. Malphite DC. Come on, Rockman, save the game. <laughs> save the thing. Rockman, no. Go get him, Malphite. Yeah. Pick up two kills with this punch fire game. Punch fire game. That's the second OP double kill. That's the second double kill for a uh, Come on, Malphite, you can do it. Punch him in the face harder. Kate misses the two, gets this auto attack to execute him, and meanwhile, Tree Man takes a turret top lane. Ribbon only playing Malkai. And it, it really isn't Ribbon only. Malkai only. No. Maybe it should be Ribbon when possible. Ribbon when possible. I think that's like less cool. Well, Maybe that... he just plays normal games. But Ribbon only. He's not playing Ribbon. He's a liar. Yeah. It's a TP from his cannon. Protecting his turret. Not letting Caitlyn get any C, but that was really good for Caitlyn. That kill. And these two assists. Even though they would have been better on her. But yeah. And George Mason is here to have 1000 gold up. Mostly from the four kills and the full turret. Kind of seeing what we did last game. So Draven is 9-3-1. and one. Yeah, we were seeing the yeah. same thing we did last game with ADC just getting absolutely massive early on and just sending them so far behind in terms of early game pressure. He's 40 CS ahead on top of 8 kills up. And Draven's passive. So he's a, he has double gold. He has 8,400 gold compared to Caitlyn. He has 4, double 000. everyone's gold. He has double everyone's gold. Draven has like... Remove the gold differential between the ADCs, and that's Concordia's the gold ahead. differential. Concordia is ahead if you remove Draven from the game. So, not much going on this mid-game. Because they're looking for dragons to spawn in a minute 30. Meanwhile, Concordia is just trying to cut their losses and just stay alive for now. 
and clear out whatever vision they think possible. Well, George Mason is moving uh, all, all except for uh, Maokai. Oh, as a yank in the top lane, TB going really deep onto Maokai. Maokai is going to look to flash for that wall if possible, but Maokai is going to chase him down with the rock view thing the metal, throwing it fire. Maokai, boom! Gets him with the Super Saiyan ultimate. And PvE takes the kill. And PvE hijacks the kill after Malphite does all the work. Beautiful. I like that though, the synchronized boom. We should do this more often. <laughs> like synchronized boom. Looking at Green Impact, this is like, so not everyone can tell. Can we ultimate? He gets a turn and bomb them. Like, not bad, but they're gonna leave the turret and like, for more of this. Like, this is not really. Terrible considering they couldn't do much and they got to kill top lane and a turret, so I'd actually say Concordia came ahead of that, came out ahead of that trade. But there's. Well, the gold differential is still insane. At least that's what it looks to me. Yeah. 3.3 thousand gold should, ahead for Dragon. They should really look to shove mid and maybe clear out some of the Warriors Dragon side and like, get rid of that Pink Ward. Good boys. Both Pink Ward. See, if we had a crowd, we'd hear a double cheer now. No, oh, don't cheer for Warriors. Don't cheer for Freak. Don't Anti cheer. Freak. Hashtag no freak. I'm gonna see a TP coming in into the river. Maokai with the home guard is gonna try and get on the TP. He's absolutely obliterated. Or he gets a free oh, there, barely survived. Oh, survive. Got a Reaper. Oh. Malphite's still alive, gonna burn him down, gets a double kill. That's a triple Caitlin. level for Malphite. Caitlyn on the front line HP. Malphite, Malphite punching everyone with his red buff, his red buff and reinforcement is here. Get the quadra kill, Malphite, come on, you can do it. Get the penta. Can he get front scumbag, frontline ADC misses the wrong Q. Get the Q, Malphite. Oh, he, the Q and and he actually, actually got cancelled because he went into the foot. But that lets Concordia get the dragon, uncontested. It's pretty good. Malphite is absolutely massive. It's Actually, if this game goes on, we might just see Malphite get so tanky from Raven that anything can happen if the ball will resist them. Especially that Orianna will scale into uh, the late game really well. Orianna actually got her Chalice Hunter Magic Pen boots right now, so she's... She'll be looking to get uh, one major needlessly large rod yeah, item. Yeah, she's at a pretty good spot. Hopefully she can lose and die here. Ow. That's what? 20% of the health? Yeah, 25? that was uh, like a 400 damage auto attack. So 16-13 in kills, uh, 3,000 gold difference. It's a like very two, stable uh, game, like two kills despite the bloodbath. Two kills a minute, practically. <laughs> this is uh, very, very tense. You and your Koreans. Korean Master Race. Koreans know how to play the game. Yeah, so they lost to UGC in uh, the final. That's a collegiate Korean. They don't really know what they're doing. This is collegiate. Stick to yeah, collegiate. Like, I guess it's like college students level. Oh, Draven getting caught by a bubble. And Draven oh, yeah, flashes no. over the wall. He's headed. He's caught by Pops all the ultimate. Draven's still alive, magically. And then here comes Rockman. Rockman. <laughs> he just walks into the middle of everyone. Taking no damage. Ultimate. Boom! <laughs> yeah, this is just amazing. I love the like the jetpack that makes it like kind of mouthlight. Oh, mouthlight. You can do it. Oh, Drave is coming back. Fully healed up. Get out of there, Rockman. Rockman, no! Rockman goes Rock down. Rockman loses to Iceman. Rockman gets like dropped. He gets a 500 bonus gold plus all the Drave stacks. Drave is just actually gold. He's already at 10,000 oh, gold 10, under 000. 20 minutes. It has one third of the a little less than one third of their gold, which is uh, closer to 27, 26 percent. I'd say. I'd honestly go for Triforce on Draven right now. It's like a super. This is what the Chinese players do when they play Draven. Well, they, if you're really far ahead, they can get yeah, it. Yeah, so. but well, in this case, he is. But. Yeah, a lot of the Chinese players what they do is they'll get. Bloodthirster, and then go Triforce, so they get get the Sheen Proc on every Q, and uh, goodbye, uh, Nami. Sorry for getting caught out of position. He should have really what he warded, thinking. he should have really warded over the wall as he's going there, but he warded way too soon and just got bronqued. Not much he could do about that, since he warded so late. 
Just vision really in favor of uh, George Mason right now on the top red side. Which is a staple of every time they invade a red side or get control, they'll drop a bunch of warriors behind the buff and near the front of the buff. So you could actually see all the exits to the, the, the and, jungle camps. And meanwhile, Mao Tai pushed up mid lane to put pressure there. And Kennen is playing bot lane, trying to get that uh, last outer turret. Sub. Played really well by George Mason at the moment. I have a fight in the top lane, top lane. Smack people, I'm gonna get Brahm all the back in. Boom! Maybe Did that do anything? Oh, Orianna also groups them all up together. This is a lot of particles. Screen. I see Malphite, get onto the Draven, burn him! Burn him with your fire fist of fury. He's gonna still stay alive. Come on, Malphite. Malphite's dead. Malphite's dead. Ridiculous kill by George Mason to save the Draven. Nocturne Everything still, was used. Was, did Nocturne even join that team fight? I don't think Nocturne was even in the team fight. Nope. No. His ultimate is still up. He still has ult, still has blue up. That was actually really bad. They could have probably cleaned up. Uh... If Nocturne had ulted when that fight started, he probably would have stopped Jarvan from diving the backline, like he did. Caitlyn only like showed up to that fight after Malphite had gone in. So if that Nocturne ultimate, even if he had just pressed it while that fight went ha went on, it would have actually made a lot of difference. It would have stopped the Malphite, the Malphite, the Malphite, and the Jarvan from diving immediately, because they wouldn't be able to target him. So she actually should have just ulted and kept it on the entire team fight. That's half of my Three shot. That is ridiculous yeah. how far ahead he is. He just crit the minion for 1,200. He did buy the Triforce like uh, I thought he would. Yeah, Trinity, Bloodthirster, and Trinity. Trinity Bloodthirster Draven is brutal because when you catch your axe, it refreshes your W cooldown, right? So once you press W, you gain an attack damage steroid, so you already power your auto attack and your Q, which is another steroid. And every time you catch Look the axe, the you get a there and die. I don't think Malphite. there's anything that the uh, Malphite will steal it. Malphite breaks to the party, but Oriana holds them and gets Kohler all gets them. Absolutely shredded in the back line. This is uh, not good for Rockman. And, uh, other than the Malphite Oriana combo, there's not much follow up. Not much damage. Caitlyn just way too far behind. That's a really late Nocturne ult just to not do anything really. It's actually really nice by frontline ace. He's gonna pick himself two up uh, two kills, <laughs> and now he meets the Draven. And now he meets Draven after flashing a master icon. So, two kills? Uh, yeah. I'll hit you twice. I'll hit you twice and drop you immediately. One thousand five hundred nineteen damage to a minion. That's uh, dirty. And uh, there goes Ori. After... I think. Uh... I think this game is over. I think it might be. Unless we believe in the mouth. Believe in the late game. Believe in the late game. Just give the EU playing for the first time. I don't know if they can survive in the first hits against Raven. I think he's gonna be in recall. Mafia just punches him in the face. Recall him. You ain't recalling? Fight me! He even like puts up his fist as he gets spiked. And he's knuckled. <laughs> and now Kenan shows up. Now Kenan shows up. Okay, I'll fight you. Uh, I'll like, let me out. Actually, I'll fight you back. Get back to the middle of the Run away, Rockman! Rockman actually got hurt. Flashes him. Everything, everything to get out. Everything. everything. What the fuck? Rom is so tanky, he is really pinned. He gets to get EQ Rylite flow on him. He'll be damn, but he has some pretty good luck in there. Oriana ultimate grouping of Rom. Malphite is still alive. Really needs to go back and heal. Maybe. Like, Nocturne as well. 
pick, both should pick up uh, home guards at this point. Everyone should have home guards. They just need to stall and try and defend their base as long as they can. But will that matter when the Draven comes? No, probably not. Draven is so far ahead right now. There's their Triforce, Blade of the Rune King, so basically <laughs> he's healing for like 100 HP every auto attack. The only thing more brutal, the only way that could get more brutal if he buys Essence Reaver, like the, the item we don't speak about. Well, he's got Blade of the Rune King now. Yeah, so he can heal himself forever. Auto life heal off everything. Unless they one shot him, there's no way they're getting to hit him. Ball if he tries to shoot it into it. Galen actually gonna ult and in. Forcing a bit away for now. George Mason really wanted, they could just tank bottom turret and just take it. Their economy is that huge. Not like goes in, drops the ultimate, followed up with the warrior. Draven almost low, but the life steal keeping him alive, still alive in the back line. Dropping axes. Pick up the second one. Come on, Rockman. Never mind. My bike dies. And Caitlyn is not not in the meanwhile in the back. I can't do anything. I'm just gonna get cute, drop, and that's. Oh, this is it. probably it. One for three. For George Mason. GGs are being called. GGs are being called. Like this, a GG is being called. What GG? Actually, they can still. I don't think they can. Right now, it seems a bit early. They're actually just probably gonna go for both. That is quite possible. Are they going for the third? Gonna, they could tank it. Draven just does so much. He gets his seed, he's like, well, there's W right now. He can just drop top turret. And they have a wave. 27 minutes is impossible to hold on to that wave. Not much they can get after this on the map, so they're probably gonna recall, pick up some home cards and potions and use Draven's buckets of money. Bucket 17, 18,000 gold. 18,000 gold with like 10,000 in the bank. Probably just gonna buy another BF sword just to make sure nobody survives. Or actually, last one for right now, not much would actually be super good. And uh, we'd like to remind you that after this game, we're going to try and get the CSGO team playing at 7pm tonight. I think they're playing at 6. 6pm tonight. No First guarantees. Season. We may have, we may stream uh, from the VOD tomorrow. We're still instead. receiving confirmation from the CSL admin if we will be able to stream. But hopefully we'll get that match. Maybe they'll do better. Maybe they'll they'll beat the Draven. Maybe they'll like shoot Draven with their hop. Maybe they'll they'll perform the snipe Caitlyn can't. But like 360 no scope with Caitlyn. Hard, especially when she's locked in place. You can, like you, you can, like spin your cursor around and like. That'd be super cool. Like, it's like a style kill. Even though you can't really 360. George Mason waiting for Draven, I think, to finish it. Probably. Okay, going in and out. Just, just does no damage. Oh, Draven has a full build now. So and, uh, uh, Draven comes in to destroy Mountain. Mount like, by Rock Band, he tried. Man, I wish I knew how to play Draven like that. Get every kill. And, uh, Thank you. They're gonna lose the dark Oh, the sky's a fountain. And Nami pick up the pentakill. Nocturne. Nami picks up a double kill. I'd, and, I'd say worse. And GG. These are being called. So that's a 2 0 for George Mason. Unfortunately, no game 3 today. So, uh, Cordia drops game 1 of their CSL week, and George Mason goes up 1 0. So, uh, I think that's uh, that's gonna be it for us. Thank you all for watching, and uh, hopefully we get to show you guys better games next week. And uh, 
Yep, stay tuned. Next week they'll be playing again. Same uh, bat time, same bat channel. Yep, same time, same channel. This and is, uh, hopefully they win this time. This has been uh, Dimitri and Zoon uh, casting. Terrible we're, casting. We're available thank you. to do birthday parties and like wear clown costumes and TF costumes. I have a really good TF imitation. Every, everyone hates it, but I'm really good at it. <laughs> like, when okay. I say Lady Luck is smiling, I mean it. So, uh, good evening, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.